Very good to see you. You know, uh, by the way, you. I saw you because I love Wes Anderson's movies. Me and so too. when the trailer came out, it's a big deal, right? And then there you are in it. That's exciting, huh? Can you believe that? It's a dream come true for me because I it? am a huge, huge fan. How did that happen? Did you reach out and indicate that you were a big fan and you love to be in a movie, or is it just no, Wes kind of came right to you? He did. He just emailed me and said, do you want to come to France and be in my movie? And I was like, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. At any moment, did you ever have a thought, because this would be my first thought, oh, this is a prank. This is one of my stupid friends telling me they're Wes Anderson, or the Wes Anderson. <laughs> 12 at Gmail or something. <laughs> I feel like that happens to you, but... <laughs> it doesn't happen to... Yeah. For right. me, it's really Wes Anderson. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good news. Are you sure this wasn't the most elaborate prank <laughs> ever? Like, they actually shot the film... It's fair. You. I haven't seen it yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> Quite a cast uh, yeah. as well. To yeah. Of course, Bill Murray, Owen yeah. Wilson... It's like uh, amazing. It's like yeah. 70 people in this movie. <laughs> and is it fun? Is it what you imagine it would be? Because it always seems like like everybody lives together and there's a real sense of community. Yeah, making. it was so cool. Everyone stays in the same hotel. Like you have dinner every night. It's all hair and makeup is there. It's so cool. It's like you feel like you're in a Wes Anderson film. Like you look like you're in a Wes Anderson movie. Everyone else looks like they're in a Wes Anderson movie. Wes Anderson looks like he's in a Wes Anderson film. <laughs> like, it's the coolest and also most bizarre, surreal experience. <laughs> it's kind of like if somebody had a Wes Anderson party <laughs> and then you had to dress up as a character, except for that's what you guys are doing yes, for work. Totally. Yeah. So weird. Did you have fun with Bill Murray? I would. I did. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, it was so cool. It was awesome. I'd never met him before, and I was in um, hair and makeup. And he would just wander in at like six in the morning wearing like a fez hat and then wander out, and then, like, come in a different door wearing, like, a different hat. <laughs> <laughs> and say something super Bill Murray-esque. You know, it was, it was a dream. <laughs> oh, you guys are both Chicago Cubs fans. Yes. I know that. Really yeah. One of the yeah. last times yeah. you were here, you, you, well, they, they either are or they aren't. You know, there's no really getting around it. There really isn't. Uh, did you discuss that with Bill? Oh, I forced the issue. Does yeah. he also have a crush on Anthony Rizzo, or is it just you? I mean, who doesn't have a crush on Anthony <laughs> uh, Yeah, I forced the issue. I basically was like, I have to talk to Bill Murray about the Cubs before I leave France. And so I just accosted him, was like, so, uh, Cubs, right? <laughs> like, we both like him, which is cool, right? <laughs> so, like, cool, good boat plan this year, right? Like, he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably gets that regularly, I would <laughs> no. imagine. But, you know, from you, I'm sure it's a, li it's a little more palatable. I was very excited. <laughs> you, uh, oh, it must be quite a transit. When do you start with the next season of Handmaid's Tale? Monday. So that's a re very different deal uh, yeah. from what you just did. <laughs> that... Your character is always, you know, it's not a, well, not fun. I mean, maybe it is fun. I don't know. It seems like it isn't. <laughs> it's a lot. What do your, like, family and friends think about <laughs> watching you They're very, suffer? Yeah. They're very supportive. And of course, they watch it. But my mom definitely is, like, it takes her a second to catch up on it, understandably, because she's like, I'm not going to go home and just, like, turn on Handmaid's Tale and watch my daughter suffer to relax, uh -huh. you know? She's sort of like, I can't quite handle the faces sometimes. So she procrastinates, <laughs> yeah. but she eventually does get to she it? She eventually does get to it. But you know, it's hard, it's her daughter, and it's a lot, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> would this be like the type of show she would watch if you weren't in it? My mom is honestly single-handedly keeping network television alive. She is? Yes. <laughs> oh, God bless her. Yeah, yeah, she's doing, she's doing it. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, like I text her just for fun, and I'll be like, what's on tonight, mom? And she'll be like, well, there's Blue Bloods at 8, and then there's Blacklist tomorrow night. Oh, wow. And then she watches all the, like, Chicago shows, like Chicago Med, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire. Like, she watches all of it. She knows what's happening. She knows. She's like, it's really good this year. All those shows that you're wondering, who watches these shows? Mom. Your mom is the one watching <laughs> yes. those shows. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, really. I mean, it works I mean, out for us. Yeah, okay. it really does. Yeah. She do does she not have like Amazon Prime or Netflix? She does. She does. She does. She and eschews that, yes. the old-fashioned stuff. She asks me and my brother about once a week how to work it. <laughs> Yesterday, she asked me, like, OK, I need to download something for the plane, so how do I do that? Oh, I would like to know the answer to that question, too, because <laughs> I struggle with that myself. I was like, Mom, you just download it. Yeah. I don't oh, know what to tell you. That's what you do? I just got this blank stare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I, I've had that blank stare myself. <laughs> okay. Is she still playing harmonica in the she car? She is. Yeah. She is. Well, not in the car so much. We don't drive. We live in New York. But, I but see. yeah, she still is. Oh, still yeah. Still playing every mm -hmm. day she plays? Yep, yep. Yeah, I She's love real that. Real good. You got to get her on. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Next time she will sit in with the band. That would be fun, she right? She would love it. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. I mean, after all she's done for network television, it seems like we could give a little something back. That's the least you guys could do for her. You've been acting since you were, uh, like, how old? A little kid. Six, yeah. Six years old. Have you ever had regular jobs? Yeah, I had one regular job. Uh, I worked at the silent movie theater, which was on Fairfax here in L.A. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Is that still a silent movie theater? It's something else now, but it's still a theater. Yeah, it's still a theater, but yeah. I think they have, they've graduated to sound. <laughs> but it's not like... You were working like in the 40s at the silent movie theater. <laughs> this is like the 90s, right? You're yeah, working there. I'm 132 years old. <laughs> yeah, well, you look fantastic. Thank you very much. So you, what did you do there? Uh, I did everything. We had uh -huh. to do everything. We had to work concessions and do tickets and clean the bathrooms. But I'm super, I can be very lazy. And so I would just like an hour before the movie started would go into the room where they had like the piano with my cloth and I would just like polish the piano. <laughs> this is like what a, people would play the yes, piano along with. For the, like a solid 40 minutes. I think I'm doing the motion like <laughs> people don't, you know, those things, what are they called? Pianos? <laughs> you press on them real hard a yeah. bunch of times? Yeah. 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 You know what a piano is. <laughs> so every day you would go clean the piano. And yeah. was that part of your job description? Yeah, but I didn't need to do it for so long. Mm -hmm. you know? And would the pianist ever come in and go, my piano is smudged? <laughs> <laughs> Could no. anyone even see the piano? Yes. It was a very important job. In fact, this table needs a little bit of work. You know what? You're right. <laughs> I mean, what's this? <laughs> what is this? Well, that's so when I hold up a picture, I know where it, it oh, goes. Yeah. See, this is what's happening to network television. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we're very set in our old ways. Yeah. We're going to take a break. When we come back, oh, boy, and if it's late at night right now where you're watching, you're about to get scared because <laughs> Elizabeth Moss has a new movie called The Invisible Man, and we will see a clip from that when we come back. We'll be right back. <laughs> that is Elizabeth Moss in The Invisible Man, who's not so invisible with a bucket of milk on him, is he? No, he's not. I no. remember the old Invisible Man. It was kind of corny, like yeah. he had like the white, you the know. The sunglasses and the hat. Yeah, the yeah. sunglasses and the hat. Like, if you're invisible, why wear the sunglasses I don't and the know. hat? There's no reason for it no. at all. No, you could just walk it. around naked and it would be fine. It'd be fine, no one would know. In fact, it'd probably be fun. Yeah. <laughs> But this is a very scary... How much can you say about it? Is it a secret, the plot I mean, of this there's, movie? I mean, there's so much that happens in this movie, honestly, that I could tell you, like, 70 pages of it, and there would still be surprises. But it's, I see. it's basically about a woman who you see at the beginning of the film is escaping a house, and you don't quite know why, and then it's revealed that she's actually escaping an abusive relationship. And um, then her now ex commits suicide, but she still believes that he's terrorizing her. Mm-hmm. And everyone thinks she's crazy and doesn't believe her, and hilarity ensues. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny. Yeah. Is it fun to make a scary movie? It is. It it's is fun. really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I, I loved it. I did um, a small part in Jordan Peele's movie Us. Okay. And yeah. that was where I sort of discovered, like, oh, this is my genre. Uh -huh. Because basically, you can do like the craziest. <laughs> and everyone loves it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because if you're behaving weirdly, yes. it's good. Yeah. I was doing a scene where I'm, like, dragging um, a knife, like, across my face in that movie and just, like, and smiling and, like, crying at the same time. And then Jordan walks in, and he was, like, amazing, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that was so great. And I was like, okay, this is my jam. Yeah, because... Yeah. yeah, if you do that, like, if you're, like, a kindergarten teacher and you do that, that's not good. No, it's not. It's weird. But in this scenario, it's, it's great. Yeah. So when you watch this movie, have you seen this movie? I have. OK. Yeah. <laughs> is it scary to you? Well, when I first watched it, I watched it in a screening room by myself, which was an odd choice. And I did actually jump several times. You got scared, yeah. even though you're the one being jumped at. Yeah. Yeah. It's dumb. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> it's dumb. Like, I did that with the paint. But when I watched it, I was like, oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. But making it is actually 
The thing is, it's actually kind of silly and ridiculous because what you're actually seeing in the film obviously is not what we saw. So when I'm fighting with, say, the Invisible Man, it's really a stunt double in a very tight green suit. Oh. Very tight, like leaves nothing to the imagination. Oh. Like you're like trying to keep your eyes up. <laughs> like, don't look, hi, don't look down, don't look down. It's like half CGI because usually they'll replace it with like a cartoon monster or something, <laughs> but they just replace it with nothing. Nothing, exactly. It's like, it looks like a giant green condom. Uh huh. So you have this like giant green condom coming at you, which is scary. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I want to ask you about a, a photograph. Uh, ah, yes. This is from the SAG Awards uh, last month. There are you and Jennifer Aniston at, really at arm's length, quite literally at arm's... Yes. What is going on here? Well, everyone thinks that that moment with Brad where they were holding hands was a big deal, but honestly, she seems to just be doing this with everybody. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she's just very handsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what we did? We took this into <laughs> Photoshop, and uh, I made a different version of this. <laughs> and, uh, Jennifer Aniston is saving your life. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't she incredible? Did you become friends after this moment you no, had I've, together? I've, I've never met her. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have never officially met her. And we were staying, well, I was at this hotel, and my brother was dropping me off. We had sushi, and he was dropping me off after dinner. Mm -hmm. And I walked into the hotel, and there was all these paparazzi outside. So I was like, who's here? And I asked, and they said it was Jennifer Aniston's birthday party. And then the next day, I had all these interviews, and they were asking me, like, oh, my God, did you have an amazing time at Jen's? Party. Uh -huh. Oh my God, you went to Jen's birthday party. And I decided I wanted to just kind of go with it. <laughs> like, I wanted to be like, yeah, I did. We're really close. <laughs> like, and me, you? Jen, and Courtney, you know? <laughs> uh, no, because we've never met. And I was like, she's going to think I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, the good news is you saved her life. Uh, or wait, no, she saved your life a couple of times. <laughs> We had a very See, a slow day today. She's an so. amazing person. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. What have you guys been doing all day? That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been practicing with our computers. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's very good to see you. It's great the to movie see you. is called The Invisible Man. It is very scary. It opens in theaters on Friday. Elizabeth Moss, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>